So this year, 2021-22, uh, Billinghurst is actually celebrating their 30th anniversary. So it's a big year for us, but with 30 years comes a lot of wear and tear. Uh, starting with the roof, I can count in the years that I've been here over a handful of times that we've tried to band-aid some leak issues. So we are replacing all the metal roofs, uh, the standing seam metal, with a new PVC system because the roofs have been leaking for years. The boilers are being replaced. They're going to be way more efficient than the old ones. The technology is just a lot better. We'll be able to control the, the building temperature a lot better too. You know, we've had experience just this last school year where classrooms were pushing 90 degrees and student learning was trying to take place in a very warm environment. Also in the winter time, uh, we wouldn't have heat necessarily, so we'd have complaints of freezing cold classrooms. So both these projects really speak to a, a great learning environment where we can keep our kids comfortable and, and dry and warm and cool. Well, this project, we're removing the evaporative coolers off of the roof that would cool the building um, and replacing it with a chilled water line system, which involves a new chiller out back that will pump through these trenches and hit unit ventilators that will cool the room. Just watching these things be lifted off of here just makes my heart happy because we can actually focus on teaching and learning instead of heating and air conditioning. Well, I mean, you know, here's a teacher in the middle of her lesson and all of a sudden, you know, the air conditioning is linking on her kids, so she has to stop her lesson. When you don't notice it is when it's best, right? Because we can focus on teaching and this will help us get to, get down to business. We've had crews here for the last couple weeks uh, working on painting the outside of the school. They will take one section of it and, and test for the lead and then they'll jump right into the painting, doing one section at a time and they're almost done with the entire um, front of the school. This community really just deserves the best and so uh, coming back with a, a new paint job um, is gonna be really fresh and, and great for the, the students, the staff, the community who drives by. Pride is everything with student learning and so if, if they feel welcome and comfortable coming into a school that has less um, chipping paint or looks fresh and smells fresh, they're going to want to come back to school and participate more. Every room in this in this school is getting new carpet and polished concrete in all the corridors. The office is getting new carpet and all of the restrooms are getting the epoxy flooring. It's made with paint chips. They, they put down a resin they spread, hand spread the paint chips two colors. Then they sand the, the, the walls and the flooring to get it to a smooth finish. You know, we've been trying to rebrand our school uh, since I've got here. We have a new logo and new mission statement. I think this is part of that as well. We, our area has been rezoned. So we have 100 students from Silver Lake coming to our school and, and those students deserve to be in a fresh, clean learning environment. And, you know, we're ready to start teaching and learning come, you know, August 9th.